Our top story this half hour, a tragic echo of the 9-11 attacks on America. Three retired New York City firefighters died of cancer on the same day this week, 13 years after being exposed to toxic debris at Ground Zero. A funeral is planned today for Lieutenant Howard Bischoff. Services were held yesterday for the others. Robert Lever and, as Elaine Quijano reports, Daniel Hegland. New York City firefighter Daniel Hegland spent eight months working in the rubble. He was diagnosed with esophageal cancer in 2012. Paul Hegland is Daniel's brother. It was stage four when, when he was diagnosed, so it wasn't early, you know, there was, it had gone, spread too far. Dr. Philip Landrigan of New York's Mount Sinai Medical Center has been treating and monitoring 9-11 first responders since 2001. There were statistically significant excess numbers of three types of cancer, and those are thyroid cancer, prostate cancer, and lymphoma. We do believe that there is a direct association between the 9-11 exposure and these cancers. According to New York's fire department, more than 850 firefighters and emergency workers have developed cancer because of their work at Ground Zero. 99% of all firefighters and emergency workers have reported at least one respiratory problem. What we've seen are people that used to lift weights, people that used to run marathons, and they now have trouble going up a flight of stairs. Any chest pain? No. October 2016 is the deadline for all 9-11 first responders to register and file claims with the Victims' Compensation Fund. Doctors are calling for Congress to extend those benefits since many of these illnesses can take years to develop. In his legacy, I think we have to remember and we have to take care of these people down the road. Earlier this month, a bipartisan group of lawmakers introduced a bill in Washington that would extend both the Victims' Compensation Fund and a medical treatment fund for another 25 years. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Elaine Quijano, New York. It's so true that so many of these uh, negative effects were much more long-term than people anticipated, yeah. and only now we're hearing about yeah, some of Yeah, 13 years later.